Hey y'all, welcome back to Jack's Drinkwater Southern Cooking and Barbecue. In today's video, we got bacon, jalapeno, and honey ribs, all on the Masterbuilt 560. And hey, if any of you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I have a video that drops. Let's get these ribs going, shall we? All right, so I just wanna throw this out there before someone says something. I bought these ribs at Costco and they come with the membrane removed already. And as you can see these ribs here, I'm not gonna do any trimming whatsoever. They look good. So the first layer that we're gonna go on with is Boar's Night Out White Lightning. And then on top of that, we're gonna be going with some Elk Creek Barbecue Rub. So first let's go with the uh, Boar's night out. Let's go with the Elk Creek barbecue rub. So make sure you do both sides. We're gonna let this sweat in for about 15, 20 minutes. While that's going, we're gonna get our master built fired up and we're gonna set the temp to 250 degrees. Our pit is up to temp. Let's get these ribs on. All right, we're just gonna set these right here in the middle. We're gonna straighten them up, make them look pretty. All right, I'm liking that. So we're gonna let these go for about an hour and a half to two hours. If they look like they get dried out during the process, then I'm just gonna spritz them with a little bit of water. One other thing I wanna throw out because you may be asking about why didn't we use any binder? Well, the ribs were pretty, had a lot of moisture on them. I didn't feel like we needed it. However, if you feel like you need a binder and wanna put it on there, good for you, do it. You can use mustard, I use tiger sauce. I mean, whatever kind of binder you want. You do you, boo. We've been going about two hours now. Let's have a peek at our ribs. Bark's not set yet, so we're gonna let it go another hour. All right, we just checked on these. We've been going four hours. We're about ready to take these off. I'm liking the color on them. The bark is set, so we're gonna just remove these and we're gonna give them a little wrap. I mean, they're close. I don't even know if we're gonna have to wrap them for that long. All right, let's, uh, so just so you guys know, I put a little bit of brown sugar down, uh, some pats of butter, and then I drizzled some honey on there. So we're just gonna put this face down. Obviously, as you can see, I'm using butcher paper to wrap. And I doubled the butcher paper. All right, back on the smoker. We put them on until they get probe tender. I'm not expecting it to take too long. Okay, now while that's going to sleep there, we're gonna go fry us up some bacon. All right, I think we're gonna give these a little bit of a check. Yep, I think we're, I think we're ready to rock and roll. Let's, uh, let's get these off and get them sauced. unwrap these little bad boys. All right. We'll just let them drain a second. All right. So I'm just gonna go over this with a little blues hog. I'm just gonna pour it on and then Not going real heavy with that blues a hog, just a light coating. Cause we're gonna be, you know, remember we got brown sugar and honey. I don't want it too sweet. And this blues hog is pretty sweet. 
So we're gonna throw these back on the smoker. We're gonna let that sauce tack, get tacky, and uh, then we'll be back with you. Our ribs are done. Let's get them out and finish this cook up. Whoo, hot tacky. All right, those look beautiful. Okay, so let's go over with that bacon that we fried up. Just crumble it over the top. I saw this recipe on from a, another YouTuber out there. Uh, I think it was Ninja Q or something like that. I'll leave a link below. So he was the inspiration behind this. We got our bacon down. Let's go over with our jalapenos. I don't like that one. Let's change that. Now these are just pickled jalapenos. I've already done this recipe once just to test it out and it came out fantastic. All right. All right, now we're gonna go over the top of this with a little bit more honey. All righty, all right. Let's take some pictures and then we'll give them a sample. All right, here we go. Cheers. Those are fantastic. Are they life-changing? I don't know about life-changing, but they're damn good. You guys got to give this a try. It's a different twist on rib. I kind of like them, and I would do them again. Check out Ninja Q. I'll leave a link below. All right, guys. Bacon jalapeno honey ribs on your Masterbuilt. Do it.